What's good YouTube, it's Philosopher Joey and today I'm bringing you guys a really awesome race that I discovered I think like two weeks ago and uh, basically if you guys have ever played Trials, uh, the, the motorcycle game, it was on like Xbox 360 I think and then uh, it's on Xbox One now and it's also on uh, PS4 as well so yeah it, it started out, uh, not, thank god I got that checkpoint started out on Xbox 360, I used to play it on my friend's 360, I never had a 360, I was never an Xbox person, but yeah. Anyways, the object of uh, Trials was to try to like, uh, to navigate these different like obstacles and stuff using dirt bikes, like, you know, dirt bikes, motorcycles, etc. But yeah, somebody has made something that is very much akin to that on GTA, so I'm very, very excited to be playing this for you guys, because that was one of my favorite games, like it was just kind of like a, not really something to do competitively or anything like that, but just, you know, something to kind of relax and have fun with and play for you know a little while but yeah we're gonna try to get this done i will say that if you guys ever decide to play this or something um i would not recommend using anything other than a dirt bike so i would not use really the only thing i would suggest using is like the sanchez or the uh, bf 400 they're the only things that really have the shocks to be able to like get across some of these obstacles that you guys will see in the uh the uh, up ahead and then obviously you guys saw that I was able to uh, to go up this this wall right here that's basically completely vertical. You can't do something like that with a motorcycle. You'll spend like, I mean, you might be able to, uh, you know, if you if you get lucky. But generally speaking, it's a lot more consistent to use something like a dirt bike to be able to do that. Oh, that's fucking barely jumped over that too much. But yeah, I don't the I don't know the technical terms for things because I'm not a car person or a dirt bike person or anything of that nature. But uh. For some reason the dirt bike has like, I guess what you'd say is torque, I'm not sure, it has like the right amount of pull to get it across different objects and stuff, so you can see that that guy obviously has the right, the right vehicle for this, he was able to kind of navigate everything pretty easily. It's really hard to do this kind of stuff right here where you're just like going up these huge walls or whatever with like a, a regular motorcycle or whatever, so. But yeah, this thing is like a ton of fun. I had it set to, uh, it's, it's originally supposed to be a race that you do like laps around the track or whatever but um oh goodness a little too fast right there but you guys will see there's a lot of parts that are very very hard to get across and i i, I didn't want to make a video of me just like failing because the last time i played it i want to say it took me like 15 minutes to actually complete the track like with two laps so we're going to stick to one lap we're going to try to do this with just one lap and then make a video out of it but yeah this part is what was giving me like hell like I could just not get past this part this part is like so ridiculous and I'm not really sure what it is because like I tried it earlier with the uh, the BF 400 and the shocks on that dirt bike is just ridiculous or motorcycle rather it is just so ridiculous so it should theoretically be able to get across something like this no problem but for some reason it was struggling so bad so I decided to switch to the Sanchez but thankfully I was able to get past it right there with no problems really at all Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he went to the fucking right. So, yeah, this jump is like... Oh, come on. Just get up there, man. There we go. This jump right here is just ridiculous. Because it's a pretty it's a pretty reasonably big gap. So, you, you have to, like, be able to make sure that you keep your motorcycle straight. So that you can, like, actually land on the platform. Because one thing I'll say is they didn't do a very good job of setting up the platform. So, you're, like, kind of going at an angle. God, like I don't know how to explain it without like I don't know how to explain it with words. Like I could explain it visually, like if I if I could like use my hands to explain it. But like the way that the ramp is like set up, the the ramps, the ramp and the landing pad are not like dead on with each other. The the ramp is you guys can if you kind of look at it, it's kind of to the right. So like it kind of throws you to the right a little bit. So it's it's really hard to get across that. Up, oh, up! Oh, did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Nice. It only took us like a bunch of tries. Yeah, it looks like I'm actually really competing with this guy because he's not—he's not—he's not backing down. He's giving me a run for my money. I don't know how I feel about that, man. No, I'm just kidding. There was early. I'm glad that there's somebody else is able to to to, to do this because earlier I was playing it and like, like I said, a lot of the people they chose to use regular motorcycles rather than like dirt bikes and stuff, so they didn't know what they were doing and they were having a pretty hard go at it. But but yeah, this is not quite as. Uh, it's not quite as complicated as um, some of the stuff on Trials, if you guys have ever played that game. It's, 
it's actually considerably easier than anything on trials, but uh, I should not have, I shouldn't have braked right there. But um, some of the stuff on that game is just ridiculous. This is this is some novice level stuff compared to the stuff on that game, but still thought it was a really interesting thing that somebody was able to do it on GTA. So that's gonna be the last time I break right there. I'm gonna keep going. There we go. No reason to really break right there. Oh no 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 no, dude, do not do that. It says I'm in first place. Do we have is anybody else even close? Do we have anybody even playing still? Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to get a good thumbnail, but I'm also trying not to drive right off the side of this. There we go. Let's do this. Oh here we go. Fast track to the to victory lane. Oh smack. I was expecting my dude to die on impact right there. So that was that sounded kinda cheesy. <laughs> sounded like I was like, oh smack. Dude, he keeps like smacking into this wall and he's still not dying. One sturdy ass fucking dirt bike. Nice. These things like spin like in an off like kiltered cycle and stuff, so it's kind of weird like trying to like navigate these things because it, it, it's no guarantee that it, the one that you're about to go through is gonna be lined up at the right spot. Oh come on, seriously? That's lame. Is that as lame as my dude's haircut? Look at his sick ass fucking bowl cut. Parted in the middle. Like it's fucking goddamn 1992 or something. Boom! First place. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully my commentary was not too fucking annoying. But if you guys enjoyed my video, please do like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for you guys' support and watching my videos constantly. You guys are awesome.